Hi, Nancy here. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a toe-up sock. And this one has short rows throughout. Short row toe, short row heel. And I've happened to use the yarn over short row. Uh, you are going to be doing this using Judy's Magic Cast On and the Magic Loop Method. And once you work a single toe, then you can cast on the second and do two at a time. So that's a big plus. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, I'm going to start you from the very beginning, which is with the cast on. I have a video for it, so I'm going to just go through it. If you want to see it in great detail, then by all means, check that out. Also, the pattern I'm using, it's just a small 24 stitch pattern. And it's available on my website. If you go to Knitting with Nancy Wynn and go to the downloads, you'll find it there. It's a free pattern. And it also has a sizing chart and uh, the, the formula that you need for your size and your gauge to create a sock really without any pattern. Uh, and, you know, that's the bottom line. You could do this without a pattern. But you can apply this to an existing pattern as well to get a perfect fitting sock. Okay. So just a reminder, working yarn is away from you and you have the tail closest to you. The yarn is going around the back needle and we will cast on 24 stitches, which is odd when you do a short row toe, you cast on your entire amount of stitches. I know this is weird, but you'll see. So let's begin. Okay, so we've got three on each needle now. The thumb goes over the back needle and the finger yarn goes over the bottom. And just a reminder, don't do this too tightly because you're going to have problems getting it knit off your needle. Okay. 24, so that's 12 on each needle if I can still add. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, where are we at here? 11, 11, 12. 12, 12, so here we go, 6, 8, 10, 12, okay, so we're going to turn it, and then I always just cross over the tail over the working yarn so it anchors it down just a bit, okay, when you're making these, I want you to think of an hourglass, you start out wide, you go narrow, you start out wide again, the nice thing is once you get this for the toe, it's identical to the heel. So here we go. Okay, we're going to start with knitting 11 stitches because we do the short row on the very first pass. Okay. A couple more to go one more okay so we're down to one and we're gonna turn okay let me get my yarns all goofy on me now he knows I'm recording this it does this every time okay one thing that's a little different on this is most of us are accustomed to doing yarn over in this direction when you're doing yarn over short rows you want it opposite a backwards yarn over on your purl side the reason for it is by going opposite, it makes a nice tight little yarn over on that purl side. So that's the goal. So under instead of over. So you're going underneath that yarn and then you're going to purl. See, and there it is. It's kind of odd. You don't think you're going to have it there, but it does. That little yarn over stays. I also have a video on this under short rows if you want to just learn all about yarn over short rows and stock in it. Okay, so we're going down to the last stitch on this side and now we're going to turn. Okay, yarn over and that's a regular yarn over. Now we're going to come down to this side. Okay. Okay. I want you to look closely at this. There's the first stitch when we turned. 
there is the stitch, the anchor stitch, you can see it, and there's its twin, the yarn over. And we're not doing anything to disturb that yet. So those two, as far as we're concerned, one stitch, and we have to turn when we get to that point. So turn we shall. Again, under the yarn, and we're gonna go down the road here. Once you know what you're looking for on this, it's pretty easy. Okay, so we gotta go down. Do you notice here on the pearl side, it's kind of difficult to see it, but there's the, there's the pearl bar. See, this kind of drops down below, and there's your pearl bar. Now, I'm going to purl this one stitch as I need to, and I'm going to turn it so you're going to get a good look at it. Again, there's your anchor. It's going down the column of knit stitches, and there's the yarn over to the right of it. Normal yarn over. Okay, now we have the single stitch, we have our first set of twins, we have our second set of twins. We're going to turn. Okay, there we are. Almost went too far. Single stitch, first set of twins, second set of twins. Turn. Now we need to make a third set of twins. Okay, now you need to look closely. We have a single stitch, one, two, three set of twins. On this side, single stitch, three sets of twins. And in the middle, those four stitches are your toe. That is the center of your toe. And where I arrive from that number, you'll see it when you download the, the uh, information. But that actually represents 30% of the total cast on. Okay? So it is of 24, it's 8 stitches. Or if you did 30% of 12, it's 4 stitches. But that's where that figure came from. Okay? So that's what you work your way down from whatever that calculation comes to. And it's super easy math. It, I, I swear it is. It's really easy math. So let's finish this right here. We're going to work those four stitches. And then I'm going to stop and I'm going to meet you back here for part two because now we're going to go the other direction. We're going to widen out this hourglass. So I'll see you back here on the next part. Thank you.